Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Gridways, a homestead in the desert. And we're outside, and it's windy again. Windy, 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 windy. Windy, I'm telling you, I've never seen this many windy days every single day. Windy, windy, 30 miles an hour. It's ridiculous. Something is going on. All right. Anyway, got a request today, so we're going to get right to that one to start. But let me start one more place first. We have um, not heard, or I have not heard, from the first place winner of the uh, Lucky Sevens giveaway. Now, I was asked this morning in uh, comments if I was going to announce who the winners were. Well, I did announce who, who the winners were on the day of the giveaway. Now, I had a problem with the live feed, but I did post a copy of the video, the, uh, the first uh, one, which was the second place winner, uh, who has already cla claimed his prize. Uh, that one was on the live feed. So everybody that was on live feed saw that. But the live feed is still posted on my channel. You can go back and look at that. And then you'll see where I uh, lost it and had a mechanical failure. And then uh, I still had my camera running on the computer itself or facing the computer. So I did record the second spin and the first place winner was on the second spin. I posted that video after the, the original video. So both have been posted online. Now, apparently the uh, first place winner uh, wasn't watching, but I hope they're watching tonight because um, as of tomorrow, uh, they don't have a right to claim that prize anymore. Uh, it's been a whole week since uh, since the drawing, so I'm going to have to do another drawing for the first place prize, which was the uh, flip knife and the uh, multi tool, multi kitchen tool. So, uh, first place winner, if you're watching, um, before tomorrow morning, I, I'll have uh, my coffee somewhere around 7 a.m. or so. Uh, so you'll have all the way up until 7 a.m. to claim your prize. If you don't at that point, I will schedule another drawing. So everybody that's on the wheel is still on the wheel, and I'll have a chance to, uh, to win that first prize um, giveaway. Even the second prize winner can still do that. All right. So I got some dogs here that are uh, apparently trying to get their heads scratched and I just did scratch a couple but I only have one hand free so let's get to the question I had the question I had was when hooking up more than one charge controller to a battery bank how do you do it and there was a little confusion there of how to get that done well uh, we got moth, moth poop all over my controllers. Looks like I'm going to have to get in here and do some cleaning. All right. So anyway, two controllers. Now, first of all, you want to take your, your favorite controller, which is my Midnight Classic. Uh, you know how much I love the Midnight Classic. I've said it too many times. But... That's my favorite because that is the best controller. So on my battery bank, I have the wires that go to the battery on this going to opposite ends of the whole battery bank. The positive at the beginning of the battery bank, the negative at the 
end of the battery bank. And that's because my inverter, I have the positive cable going at the um, end of the battery bank and the negative going to the first battery on the battery bank. So they're exact opposites. That way my whole battery bank is considered to be one giant 12 volt battery. And the, uh, the feed in is opposite the feed out so I get the most efficiency. Okay, so if you're going to add another charge controller, where does that go? Well, that one goes to the same connections as your controller. So whatever's coming in on your charge controller, on the second controller, is going pretty much some into the battery bank, but most going in to your inverter. Okay, and as soon as it comes in, it's being fed out. So that relaxes the strain on your favorite um, controller. Now, there's a little argument about that saying, well, since the favorite controller is the best one, why not that put that at the other end? Well, I'm not um, as much interested in running everything through the day when the sun is out off of my favorite charge controller. What I'm more interested in is my favorite charge controller maintaining my battery bank while I'm um, going through the day. And then the second one can give me that extra energy that's being fed directly into the inverter so that the inverter isn't drawing off the battery bank. It's got some already coming in. All right. So what do you do if you have more than that? So I have those two up there and one more down here. So what I did was I put in um, bus bars. So those all feed into bus bars. As you can see, the wires coming out of this one come down and go into the positive and negative bus bars. So with that going into the bus bars, then I could take lines off of those and I could feed them anywhere I want on the battery bank. Even like right here, right in the middle of the battery bank. That doesn't matter. Um, those are supplemental um, adding to the charge through the battery banks. So instead of the one that's on the beginning and end of your battery bank having to go through the whole battery bank before it um, puts a charge in, these little ones are charging the in-between batteries as they're going along. So this is not um, shot, cut into stone as the only way to do it. But I found it to be the best way. Is I can run my air conditioner is running right now, running all day, and uh, I turned it on this morning before I went and uh, scraped roads for my neighbor, and I'm at 13.4 now in the afternoon. So yeah, it works out great. So, Tony, that's how you do it. So put your favorite one opposite your inverter. Put your second favorite one um, the same side as your inverter and then put all the others through combiners. Now bus bars are basically a combiner but they actually sell a combiner box that has other electronics in it that will help balance the electricity cut. Look, I'm in my eighth year out here with this setup and I don't have a problem so do what you have to do you can buy a combiner box if you want I don't I don't see a need for it I'm doing just fine all right so we got that all taken care of so I mentioned that I was out working for or doing some work for a neighbor what I did was I uh, I have my drag sled here that I used to drag with my ATV. 
And there it is. And that's used for cutting the road down and uh, um, getting things leveled from all of the washboard effects and all of that stuff. And this thing works really good. I use it to keep my roads nice and clean. Now it looks like I wore out um, that cutter and this cutter uh, today because I did cover with the number of cuts I had to run I probably covered about 18 miles of road so no problem I will replace those cutters they're just a couple of pieces of angle iron and I'm thinking that I would like to this 90 degree cutter that I have in the back I'm thinking of putting one up here and off of there with the center point right underneath the um, the rail and this is a this is the frame from an old treadmill so this thing weighs a few hundred pounds and it does a really good job of um, cutting and, and leveling the roads now I was too tired after five hours of scraping roads to pick it up and put it back up on this rack and haul it home so I actually drove it a mile and a quarter I think it was down the main road that uh, comes into this area and it's re really washboarded so I did drag it down there and scrape that kind of smooth and I looked behind me and I was only going about four miles per hour but I looked behind me and uh, a bunch of people who had been coming down the road decided to follow me because I was making the road smooth behind them uh, behind me in front of them and then when I switched from one side of the road to the other side of the road to make that smooth they followed me <laughs> so uh, my other neighbor up the road says that's uh, I'm gonna win the neighbor of the desert um, award for th doing that but heck it was just the way it went so lots of fun everybody that's all I have for today. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget your thumbs ups. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And again, uh, first place winner, uh, get your claim in. Go to my email, which I've posted a few times, and send me your mailing address. You're holding up the second place winner from receiving his prize because uh, I've got to drive a distance to the post office I want to do it all in one and uh, can't mail out second place without first place or I'd have to make two trips to the post office. So get with it. If not, everybody, good luck on the upcoming draw, which I'll do this week. And I'll announce the time and date on that and we'll go live on it again. Hopefully this time I won't have any hardware failures. This is G-Bear signing off.